All right. Hello, Sailing Cerebral. I'm attempting to do something cerebral. We're currently have the wind coming straight this direction here. So the best sail position is probably a little bit farther. I'm attempting to get the jib farther out here. Now we used to have a little line that was connected here, which was also attached to this thing. And then... Breaking stuff in exotic locations featuring Tia. That may have been my fault. <laughs> Again. <laughs> kind of featuring Owen. Definitely not featuring Sam. The line broke when the winds were too strong. Here. Now that's connected. Like that. My plan is, I'm gonna attach this right here. All right, so what we have done here is that we have taken this line, two half hitches, all right, so you got your two hitches here, you got one there. You can change the distance by doing that. But if you pull from here, the thing will never move. Are we speeding up? Six one. Cool. So we can now fairly easily change how far in or out the jib is. Well, we lost a lot of wind speed, our apparent wind speed right now. About six knots, we're hanging out around nine. We are really efficient, it would appear, because the, uh, the average that was explained to me that we should be looking for is we should be trying for every knot of wind speed be getting about a half a knot of GPS speed. And so we're actually really efficient because we got four knots of GPS speed and 5.6 knots of wind speed. So this new fancy contraption, we can control how far out the jib is. We're going almost directly north. We're just going straight north. We've put the jib out at least three times and taken it back at least three times. So not great sailing weather, but we're working with it. The wind just changed. So I might be able to put the jib out. Let's put the jib out. Okay. It's also raining, despite the fact that it's beautifully sunny right now. There's little telltales on the sail that show me if it's actually doing anything. Yay! The telltales are happy. It makes Tia happy. So I'm just gonna throw this line back in here. And hopefully the wind will stop moving so much. we're using the motor. Baby. <laughs> the wind all day has just been annoying. Last time I came up it was back there and now it's like right there. That's part of the whole <laughs> adventure. <laughs> I guess. Do you want me to cut these cameras? Yeah. Right now, it hasn't really been.
been for a while. But we've had the mainsail up and the jib up because we've been trying to catch as much wind as we can. But now that we're getting closer to our destination, I think that I'm going to make the executive call that we're going to take the mainsail down. Alright, keep her coming. Oh, it's pretty easy when we have a uh, 4.0 apparent wind. <laughs> Gotta come off the hook. Yeah, there you go. I'm no good for this job because I'm too short. That's why I'm at the helm. <laughs> Alright, so I got a question now. You have a question? Yeah. Are we currently out of dodge or are we in dodge? You know, that's a good question. I don't know when we get into dodge and when we get out. Well, I know when we get out of dodge. I don't know when we get into dodge. I don't think we ever get into dodge. I think we always just get the hell out of dodge. <laughs> I don't think we have yet to, to establish a new dodge. I think this hey, whole time has okay. been yeah. one. Should we take in some of this? No, I guess we shouldn't have taken the sheep lines. We should leave them loose. I think that's the joke. <laughs> I think that's the, uh, that's the ha ha of it all, you know? So this whole trip, we never actually left off. That you're just always in dodge. Continuously getting, getting the dodge, hell out of dodge. But you, but you never actually get out of dodge. Yeah. That's surprising. I mean, it makes sense to me. You do this a lot with cats. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Like, He's so far over. We're applying the see one, do one, teach one method. Since Tia has done this many times with Cap, she is a uh, teaching Owen. Meanwhile, I should be back at the helm. I got a mighty fine crew. We're nearly to our destination. Channel Rock. So now I'm resetting our course to what it was previously. I took it off of autopilot and now I'm readjusting back to our course and we are back on autopilot. Uh, next course of action will be to wind up any lines that are trolling behind the boat so that when we go to turn the other motor onto anchor, no lines get caught in the motor. 